In this last session, what we're going to do is add some sound to our animation. Sound actually gives it that extra dimension. Not only do we have things moving across the stage, but we can also give them individual sounds. Or in our case, we're just going to have a beach sound running right across the whole movie. So to do that, what we're going to do is you can either put your sound right at the top, or in most cases, like what I do, is always put it right at the bottom, so behind the background. So I add a layer, and I move it right to the bottom, and I know now that this will be my sound and label as such. Now when we create this layer, we're going to actually attach the sound to the layer rather than to objects, etc. And it helps us manage this later. But we need to actually get our sound into our flash animation. So what we need to do is go to File and go down to Import. Now you've got choices of actually importing it straight to the stage. I prefer to actually import it to the library and you can also import videos and if you and I've mentioned before you can actually import other objects from other libraries so from previous animations that you made but we're going to import it straight to the library that way it sits down over here rather than in our stage and what we do is once we get it set up we just scroll down to find where my beach sounds are now depending on the size of the actual import so if you're working with a 2 meg mp3 or a WAV file um, Whatever size the MP3 is of the WAV file, because MP3 is already a compressed audio file, you're not going to get any more compression when you make the FLA or Swift file. So if we're making the Swift file for the internet and you've got a 3 meg MP3, your, audio, your file size will be at least 3 meg. So you need to make sure that you actually work with the audio file, trim the audio files to size. So once I've done that, much the same way you put an object on there, select the keyframe. And then when I drag this out, I can just drop it on the stage. When I drop it on the stage, you see that all of a sudden, we have this line that runs through to the end. And then it pauses. Now, I've made, deliberately made this not quite as long as the whole frames, because if it goes over, it will loop and it will play the sound again. And you can actually get this rolling sound occurring where one song starts playing and the next time the program loops it activates the song again so every time you pass this through in a loop so the first time through it plays at once second time through you'll start playing it again third fourth fifth and if you keep it looping you can have hundreds of these songs running at all different times so I've got my sound inserted in there now um, some songs will actually show up a little squiggly line this is a very uh, it's just beach sounds and when the movie plays now you'll actually hear beach sounds playing in the background and when it gets towards the end of the animation, the song will sort of stop. And when it loops again, the sound will start again. So it's a good idea that you manage your animations and your sounds appropriately. But when you add sound to an animation, if you don't have it there in the future, like you watch it without the sound playing, you sort of feel a bit ripped off because it's missing something. Sound just takes your animations to the next level. So remember, when you're working with sounds, you can actually have them start later, you don't need them to start right at the start. If you wanted to, you could actually select them and shift them down a little. So you can actually grab all the keyframes and just move them down a little. I just clicked and dragged that down. So when the animation starts, it'll be a little bit quiet and then it will start. Or if you wanted to make it play all the way to the end, you can shift it to the end so there's the silent part at the start rather than at the end. So it comes on. He rolls through, and when he leaves the stage, it ends. So that concludes this little tutorial on basic flash.